There we go. Now, okay, so the big H is the White Forest radio antenna. Now we've got a new um, a new backdrop. So, yeah, welcome back to some Half-Life 2 Episode 2. I'm basically recording this right after I uh, stopped playing last time. So we are following the Vortigaunt, a mutual fiend. It's not the Vortigaunt. That is the chapter name. Following the Vortigaunt, Uriah, Follow to me. Silo 1 to watch do this transmission. So that's where we will get started today. If you take the Freeman from here. I can return to my place of honor. At the that was quick. The sure thing. Thanks for the help. Also, Lupin is being an absolute tool. Right after they got here, but he wouldn't tell me why. I guess we're we're about to find out. Did we see the transmission from Judith, or at least part of it, at the end of Half Life Two? Yeah, no, you're being annoying, Lupin. It's hard to say how much of it might have survived intact or whether there's anything remaining that could compromise our work if it were discovered by the Combine. We'll need to take a close look at it, of course, but I should be able to give a better opinion within a few hours. If the site is where we think it is, then it should be no more than... I'm going to cut this short. We may have been spotted. I should never have let her go. There was no stopping her, Eli. Wait a moment. There's something else here. I will admit to not fully processing what is it's happening right now. The Borealis. Good God. Incredible. What? Epitrocytes. The Borealis? It's real? Oh yes, quite real, despite its almost legendary stature. Our peers at Aperture Science were at work on a project of some promise, but in their rush to beat Black Mesa for funding, they must have compromised ordinary standards of risk. We heard their research vessel had simply disappeared, vanished with all hands, and even part of the dry dock. Few believed the Borealis would ever be seen again. It should have been lost forever. Ah, but now that we've found it, we can use it against the Did not see this coming. Use it. That thing has to be destroyed. But think of the advantage for humanity. Now nah, the soul simply waste argument. Potential. Black Mesa taught you anything? There's no controlling that kind of power. Well, yes. Destroy the evil thing, use the evil life. thing for good. But my goodness, we have coordinates, blueprints, hailing frequencies. Quite ingenious of Dr. Mossman to hide it all in the carrier way. Well, that means she's still alive up there. But if the combine catcher. I love this one, Buster TV. She knows. And this one, but Black and White, or three. But we don't know for sure. I won't that take that chance. I'm going after Dad. Now, Eli, the Let's do it. thing worse than Judith falling into their hands would be if they should get a hold of you. She may know the particulars of the Borealis, but you, you know everything about the Resistance. Listen to Dr. Kleiner, Dad. Gordon and I are more than able to handle this. We'll get her back. Kleiner, where are you? Why isn't the decoding finished? Oh, fine. The code. Yes, Magnuson. It just needs a little bit longer. If you're waiting for the Combines, go ahead. They'll soon be here to give it to you in person. I'll hurry along, Magnuson. I'll be back as soon as I finish. Interesting. Dad, are you okay? Not again. It's me. No, I can't. I can't let it happen again. Not another black mesa. Oh, that's the advanced fam. Prepare for unforeseen consequences. It's really cute. What did you say? Oh, oh, that's the message that we had to deliver from the beginning. Just, just lean into me. Let's get you off your feet. Thank you, baby. I'll be fine in a minute or two. Okay. Do you need anything? Actually, Alex, would you? For into recycling. Hot plate in the old staff room. I'll be right back. Gordon, did you keep an eye on him? We're, we're not going anywhere. I have a feeling we're going somewhere. We're having a very, very in-depth conversation. Oh, that's a cool pack cactus plant. Okay, I'm what's up? Consequences. <laughs> the last time I heard those words was back at Black Mesa. Okay. You had just stepped into the test chamber. When he whispered them in my ear. Right. You know who I'm talking about. 
Sorry, ma'am. Gmail. Our mutual friend. When he brought in that crystal, I knew I... I should have aborted that damn test, but I didn't. The whole world went to hell that day. And now, now he's using my little girl, putting words in her mouth. God damn it. I should have known when he rescued her, it was for his own damn reasons. Gordon, there's so much I need to tell you. Between us, we may finally have a chance of, um... Here you go. Secrets. There's nothing, honey. All right, people, change of plans. Hi. There is no way we can launch before those striders are... Oh, oh, excuse me if I'm interrupting tea time. I'll just step out until you've finished, if that's more convenient. It's all right, honey. Well, Freeman, I believe I've found the perfect use for you. Follow me, quickly. Okay, bye-bye. We'll, uh, we'll talk later. I'll I'm looking forward to it. Freeman, striders are coming. A single okay. one of those damn things could shoot down our rocket. <laughs> As depicted Don't in this. Don't dare launch until all striders are destroyed. Now you've proved yourself. Oh, people, thank you. And the staff seem to respect you. Therefore, I'm putting defense of White Forest and this ingenious new weapon of mine in your hands. Oh. We call it the Magnuson device. That's Not the M. A chosen label, you understand, but it seemed to please the personnel. Now look, look energy right equations. Warm up the delivery port. What do you say? Now what it is is a sort of sticky bomb. Although cleverer than that makes it sound. From your point of view, you merely pitch the device at the Strider's hull. Then Level blow 11. it up. I've okay. struggled with a mechanism for launching the device, but... Well, your zero-point energy field manipulator clears up that little problem. Now yep. follow me, and we'll let you get in some practice while we still have time. Ooh, practice time, practice time, practice time. Hello. Don't You're right. Freeman, ah. Strider's days of impaling your friends are a thing of the past. Now, out in the field, we'll supply you with all I'm getting really into zooming right now. I don't know why. Through delivery ports like this one. Okay. For the safety of the base, these devices are deactivated. They cannot explode like those you will find in the field. Oh, what's ahead. this button do? Take the device out. That's right. Now toss it with the main butt. Good. Now take out the firearm of your choice and shoot the device. Oh. Okay, it doesn't require too much. Ah, not too difficult at this range, is it? Gets a bit harder when it's moving about and firing at you, of course. Now let's move on to a more challenging task. Uriah, okay. send the target to the far end of the rails. That is so cool. Now, give me the bomb. Oh, okay. A bit more challenging at this range, isn't it? A bit. I really overestimated the drop. Try it again. So, like, boom, and nope. As you can see, the Magnusons are fragile. They will disintegrate That's good. I don't need random things blowing up on the ground. Okay, how about that? Okay. Magnificent device, isn't it? I'll be right over here when you are okay. ready to head up. Scratchy and then poop and then I'm gonna hit the flashlight a lot. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm done. I'm ready to just go. Yes. Your car is fueled and ready to car. go. Car! Now, every building in the valley okay. has its own dispenser port, so you'll have ample supply of explosives. Now, That's I good. must get back to my rocket, Freeman. I yeah, you've wasted enough time, Magnuson. Under my trust, or my Magnusons. Oh, and Freeman. I will not squander your Magnusons. I might just forgive you for that debacle at Black Mesa. You know the one I mean, involving a certain microwave casserole. 
Was he in the first game? Did I miss him in the first game? I don't know. Hello? Oh, rocket launchers. That's fun. Rocket launchers, a car, some supply crates. Is that a new thing on my car on the back there? That thing? Oh, it's a bomb thing. Okay. Cool. Let's just, uh, let's do it. Taking a few liberties with your car. Check it out. I added a rack for Magnuson devices back here. Okay. And no one's gonna shoot that. Board radar, so the combines show up red on the dashboard unit now. Plus, okay. It'll send a homing signal to your HEV suit in case you get separated <gasps> from the car. Oh, look at that! Now check the car this at the bottom. This is gonna be really stressful and very difficult. We're right here at the south end of the valley. Yep. The rest of the gangs up north by the old sawmill here. Follow the tracks. Up there, and they'll fill you in on the sort of. plan. I'll be staying here to watch the field and send status updates. Good luck out there. So step one, get to the sawmill. Okay. Blech. There we go. Wasn't letting me for a bit. Yeah, I know the controls. There's a Magnuson device thing. Okay. You'll find the sawmill at the far end of the valley. Okay, far into the valley, keep going. There's a Magnuson device thing as well. I'm very overly cautious. Okay, the Magnuson device things are on my map too. I see supplies there, supplies there. Okay, they're giving me like a lot of new tools. Maybe, maybe I go all the way to the sawmill, talk to the dudes, and then it's like, okay, now shit gets heavy. There's the tracks. We need to be on the right side of the tracks. But I will follow them nonetheless. There's our sawmill. I'm getting better at this car. Doctor. So Hi. they've sent Freeman, have they? Good man. We've counted a dozen striders just north of us. Our job is to keep them from reaching the base to the south. If they get close enough for one good shot at the silo, the whole launch is a bust. I'm honestly worried. And in case striders aren't bad enough, recon indicates they're being escorted by packs of hunters. Now, what I want you to do... Attention! Uh -oh. Attention. North perimeter breach. Alright, people, this is it. We have a strider approaching from the crane. Defensive position, go! Okay, from the north, from the north, from the north. Everyone ready? No. Oh, there it is. Okay. I can't sprint with this. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, yep, that's what I was worried would happen. Okay. I, okay, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Okay. Oh, take out the hunter. Okay, can I take out the hunter with the Magnuson? Circle strafe, circle strafe, circle strafe, circle strafe. I'm gonna do. Oh, it's. Okay. okay. I can't run with the, um, the bomb. We're just gonna slowly move along. Is the entire squad dead? Did I panic too much? Ooh, no, 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 no. It's on the other side. It's on the other side. It's on the other side. Jesus Christ. Strider, 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 Strider. I want to use my car, but like, I also want to like... My Magnuson! There's no Magnusons, there's no Magnusons. I'm sh is at this car. Okay, there's some over here. Sorry, 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 sorry. Where the frick are the bombs? Oop, there goes the car. Okay, um. Okay. Am I panicking? Yes. I want bombs. 
It's not about the health, it's about the bombs. Okay, let's take out that guy. Where to go, where to go, where to go? There we go. Got stepped on by a strider. Okay. Honestly, don't know if it's worth driving. Oh, there should be one in my car. I don't want or need that. Okay. Oh! Like that? Like we explode. Not something exploded it? I shouldn't be there. I should not be there. Okay, let's just go back this way. Let's get the hunter. Bastard! Back to the car, get back to the car, get back to the car. It has the little carrier on it, so I could use that one. I do want to find supplies in general because I need the health. I also want to take down that strider wherever he went. I don't want to. There you go. Where is the strider? Where's the strider? He's just, I see him on the radar. By Magnuson, right by the supplies. There we go. Got it. Okay, there's another. It looks like hunters are traveling with the striders. They're working in packs. Yeah, figured that out. Okay, I don't. I don't want that. I don't need that. Do not have the shotgun ammo. This was just gonna say, still got those alt shots on this, but I was really hoping he would die. <laughs> okay, back to the car, back to the car, back to the car. Anything on the back of my car, but there shouldn't. Medic's dead. Not surprising. There's the next one. Okay, there's some explosives in the supplies that I could use against the um, hunters. Could maybe even put them in my car, but I don't trust any of that. Um, oh, I should grab a one for the road. And that's how you handle a bomb. Gets in front of me, Hish. 
I don't know if I got more ammo. I hope I got more ammo. I needed more ammo. It's like straight up guns. What about crossbows? How do crossbows fare against these guys? Probably better if I hit. Okay. Probably explosives in here. And bombs. Explosives. And explosive. Great. It's better than nothing, I guess. This one's green, by the way, and I don't know how to feel about it. One down, and I don't have any shotgun ammo left. Got more pulse rifle ammo. Yeah, well, you know what I gotta do first is take care of these hunters that are really annoying. Okay, have I got a Magnuson thing? Got one over here. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Can't run. This is what we're doing. Thank goodness. Oh, there was one right there too. Good. Okay, seems like there's more close to the base. It's not the striders that are my problem. Oh. Well, that was gonna happen. <sighs> Another strider coming in towards what used to be the sawmill. 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 I have no idea. Oh, I know where the sawmill is. I know where I am. I know what's happening. I keep trying to run. I'm running out of sprint. Don't forget your car, Freeman. <laughs> As if anyone could. Hunters is a lot to deal with. And the sawmill does not have resources to deal with anything. This is not what I need. Ow! I really thought I had it. I can't sprint any faster than that, okay, game? I have two shotgun bullets. <laughs> and I miss. And I miss twice. Three times. Okay. Okay. Ah, I forgot how to unzoom. I don't know what to do. I'm getting legitimately frustrated. I don't know how to deal with the hunters. Backwards, thank you. Running over dead bodies, RIP. I understand that there are two striders and that I need to deal with them and that they that worked. I wanna to get to the supplies. I wanna be able to sprint and I wanna be able to get to the supplies and I want all of those things to happen right now. Okay. Everything's okay, everything's okay. Okay, that sounded like it died. Okay, that one's dead. <sighs> okay. It's just not the 
best spot to save, but it's a spot to save. There's another one. Is that a new one, or am I still dealing with the second strider over here? That I cannot find. There we go. Hey, ow. Oh, that was a good shot. Nice one, Freeman. Oh, that was a good shot. Where's my car? <laughs> oh, there's so many dead medics. It's the hunters. It's the hunters. I know. I know you know, and I know that I've said it 15 times. Jesus Christ. That. That one was the best hunter kill, though, with the car. Oh, it, yep, now it's personal, now you're dead. Okay, I have nothing. I have... I, yep, I don't have... Yep, okay. I, I don't have any ammo. Uh, is this shelter? I don't know. Where am I going? What do I want to do? I'm gonna find more supplies. Okay, I didn't mean to do that, but I technically wanted to do that, so. Should be an achievement for that. Oh, hit and run. There is an achievement for that. Good. I don't have a gun. <laughs> I had a pistol. Oh, gosh. And then there were no more striders. The end. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. I'm trying to find supplies is what I'm trying to do. Ammo mostly. I'm not gonna hit them all with my car, am I? From the water tower. Oh good, I was worried we were done. Um, okay. Um, I was gonna say have I hit up these supplies, and I think maybe not because <laughs> Uh, all the medics are still alive. Yeah, we're... Oh! <gasps> My car! Okay, well, I want to go back and get those explosives now that the hunters are there. It took them half a second to show up. No, 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 don't run away from me. No. I will be really upset if I actually have a destroyed car. I can't go in that way anymore. That's literally all I have. And that pistol. And that was it. 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 I don't know what just happened, but I'm over here now. I don't know where the strider is at this point. I don't think I have a car. I do have a car. It's on my radar at least. Where's my car? There's my car.
Al is right. Do I still actually still have the rocket launcher? Looks like that was the last one. Wait a minute. Get ready, everyone. We spotted drop ships carrying even more striders. We have about a minute before they hit, so gear up. This is gonna get ugly before it's over. I know they probably gave me a save, but you know what? I'm not. Ooh, rocket launcher. I need to be using the rocket launcher on the hunters. Um. <laughs> that seals it. We're dead. I'm with you, buddy. This is not looking good. Where'd they go. Cranes. This isn't working. Okay, and one is not enough, and I'm out of ammo. Okay. Okay. That oh, helped. six more ammo on that and I don't have a Magnuson so let's see if there's anything up here I haven't been this way yet there is nothing up here I'm not so worried about the striders because there's a lot of um, Magnusons by the entrance and once they get the hunters down they're easy to get if they're near the entrance I'm really only worried right now about the hunters Nice drive. Oh, there's the water tower. Okay, we're just gonna do loops. We're just gonna do loops, take them out. Okay, I see, I see it, I see it. Hi, Lupin. You're to distract? You're a good boy. I don't know what I'm doing here right now, honestly, but... Yeah, I'm seeing this. Now well, let's get that Magnuson going. Some pulse rifle ammo. Yep. And whoop and oh that was baloney. Definitely at Lupin, what are you doing? This cat's all over this monitor. I think you notice this how intently I'm staring at things. Oh my gosh, I think there's a Magnuson in there. Oh I'm saying Magnuson a lot. It's just what Magnuson would have wanted. <sighs> okay, um... Let's save that, and then, okay, another one in there. That was great. Just gonna do that, 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 that. Okay. They do not die. Except that did it. Um, okay, um, where's the strider? Where, all the way over there. How'd you get over there, S silly strider? Okay. There's one more, two more. Where is it? There it is. 
Okay, uh, you know what? Let's do one of these. My one rock. Okay. Okay, he did not need much to go down after that one rocket. It's like one rocket and then literally anything else. Don't have my shotgun ammo left. Got your attention. Did he go down? No. Okay, okay. This one I should probably just hit him with the car or something. Okay. Come on. There's a Magnuson right there, too. Okay, and... How are we doing? Defense of the armament. That was effing tough. Attention, attention, I don't know how it didn't die, honestly. I happily... I'll take my car. Take this health first, and then let's drive. Let's drive there. Um, I felt like I wasn't doing that correctly in a lot of places, but you know what? Got through it without dying, and that sometimes is all you need. Hey, Gordon Freeman! Wow! Thanks, Freeman. Right, let's see where this goes and then find a good stopping point. Good going. Wow, Gordon. You were amazing out there. I know it. <laughs> what are you doing, Lupin? Cat's yelling at me. He's been yelling at me for a while though. He had a hairball. And he gets really Spinal anxious stages. when he has hairballs. It's summer, what are you gonna do? T minus one. Two chapter. Tracking beacon. Oh, there's another bit of crust we can ignore. Support equipment power down. Uh, hold on a moment, Kleiner. Ah, Freeman. Hello. Well, I see the Magnuson device performed flawlessly. Yes, it did. I feel compelled to... Except the one time it bounced. ...personally for saving my rocket. So, um, thank you. <clears throat> well, that's enough chit-chat. I've got a rocket to launch. <laughs> wow. For a minute there, I thought you were going to get a hug. Powered and ready. Check, check, check. Let's go to the control room. We can get a great view of the launch from there. Did you do that? So, I live in. So that time that I was sitting there with Magnuson and I looked into the rocket, was that the time to put the gnome in? I wonder. We're not reaching the end, are we? I feel like I should have at least an hour left. That I was able to get working. I've got it all packed up and ready to go. Never a dull moment, huh? Wait a moment. I'm seeing a payload anomaly of approximately eight and a half pounds. That would have been a gnome. At last. Ah, Gordon. Hell of a job you did out there, son. Uh, let's not forget that with the Magnuson device, those striders practically destroy themselves. <laughs> yes, nice. well, I think perhaps Gordon had something to do with their success. I suggest we adjourn this meeting of the Mutual Admiration Society until after we have launched our rocket. Now, I believe we're ready to start the auto sequence. I believe Gordon. Be right back. <laughs> likes to chop elastic into little pieces. This relieves stress for him, I think. Get a good one, come on. There you go, good one. I'm coming. Boy. All right, so in case you didn't figure out that order of operations there, Lupin was being annoying, and then I spilled the peach monster. And then we had playtime, 
I don't know how much of playtime I left in, but we had a nice chompy, chompy, elastic session with Lupin and Nymeria, and it was lovely. So, um, <laughs> where are we? So I'm seeing this countdown timer, which scares me. Um, it makes me not want to do too much right now, because I... Or I could just... I could just finish the game today. <laughs> and then, because I... I'll say right now, I was going to save this for the end, but I'm... I'll say right now, I'm really glad I played this right after I played that previous part, because I, I think I really needed that warm-up <laughs> to, like, get through those triders at all. <laughs> um, well, let's just see what happens here. Should have the honor. You'll hear no objection from me. I have the honor of pressing the button. Or is it 30 seconds? Maybe it's 30 seconds. It's 30 seconds. It's a really pretty view. The forest. The birds and the mountains. Once the rocket is in range of the portal, we'll be able to switch on the Xenium resonator. Well, let's get outside. I'd like a better view of the fireworks. There should be quite a show. Regrettably, I can't come out with you. Magnuson and I will need to keep a close eye on the rocket's trajectory. Aren't you going to see us off? Just as soon as this is wrapped up. Heiner, give me a hug. Letting you go without a proper goodbye. Okay, I'll hold you to that. You too, Dr. Magnuson. Indeed. If I don't get a hug from him this game, I need a hug from him in Half-Life Alex. It is a criticality. Mm -hmm. Oh, gotta get to hear the information. The more I think about that warning from our friend, the more I'm convinced it has to do with Borealis. Great. Don't be deceived. That ship must never be used. You have got to destroy it. Evil. Whatever the cost. Where are you two? You're gonna miss it. Be right there, Alex. Gordon, thanks for everything. Eli, you if we miss it, I'll be pissed. For all of us. I couldn't be prouder if you were my own son. Now, he really he wants me to marry his daughter. Talk about. Come on! Gordon, Alex! Dear God, this dog. Dog. Come hang out. And not a moment too soon. I'll bet the Combine aren't too happy right now. You got that right, sweetheart. But we've got plenty to celebrate. I wish you didn't have to head off so soon. If only it weren't so critical. It's okay, Dad. We'll find Judith and bring her back. Dog? Right. Hey, where are you? What a nut. Don't go too far. Well, there she is. Gassed up and ready to go. Oh, right. There's a whole helicopter. We have no idea what to expect. Don't worry, Dad. We'll be all right. I just... Wish all this didn't have to fall on you, Alex. Your mother would be so proud. Dad. <laughs> Come on, Gordon. The chopper's waiting for us. What did I just pick up? What just happened to my inventory? Are you sure you have A little close. <laughs> I think so. Dr. Kleiner gave us the Borealis coordinates. 
We'll keep the hailing frequency open on the chopper radio in case Judith tries to reach us again. Good idea. She could well make another attempt. Oh no. Dad! Oh. Gordon! Help! Oh. I have my finger on my shotgun. Dad! Alex! Oh no. Okay, of things I expected, this was not one. Listen to me. Destroy that chip. Whatever it takes. And then Eli doesn't die. Don't! Dad, look out! Palsy. No! Dad! Dad! Get the Vortigons! Save us. Oh gosh, I can't keep the camera up. Jesus Christ. I should have guessed. We had that nice chat right beforehand. He said so many nice goodbyes. And then the advisor just kind of like sucked his genetic material out of the back of him. So like maybe, maybe there's more to this. That's the end. <laughs> I did not think that we were at the end. <laughs> I was like, okay, I feel like I have like an hour or so left of this game. Holy moly. So I was like, okay, rocket launches, which I thought was the end of the game, but like, there was a lot of stuff that happened. It was a, a very much like a finale type of like feel with the Striders. But then obviously the Borealis and the helicopter and like, oh, here's like our next thing. We go grab Judith. I'm like, okay, maybe that's like the last hour of the game. Like it gets like even more amped up and just like, nope. Episode two, Eli Vance dies, advisor, proboscis back of the head. That's a thing. But I feel like the advisor has like that genetic material. Like he's gonna do something with it. But like we're not getting a normal Eli Vance back again. I shocked him to the end. I did that in record time, didn't I? Jesus. <laughs> I think I've only played this for like five hours. I thought this was a six hour game. I really rushed or something. I don't know. Oh god. Half-Life um, episode one also did like a similar thing where I only I played for less than four hours for episode one. Wow. That's good achievements. <laughs> we can look at the achievements together now, so that's good. I'm gonna get to go outside. It's so sunny. Okay. Um Bone breaker, uh, kill 30 enemies with thrown physics objects. That's when I was um, using the saw blades and I was like, oh, I'm kind of um, getting that achievement. So that's when I was killing an enemy by planting a hopper mine. Honestly, I I feel like that's really good if you like know the maps better. But like the first time through, it's like I never I never figured out enough. Squish every antlion grub. I remember. Yep. I remember knowing that I'm not going to get that. Apparently, yeah, it is every single one. Three into 33. It's crazy. Steal a zombie's grenade. I'm surprised. That... Yeah, no, I haven't done that. You're right. Uh, run over 20 enemies with the car. Almost. Hot potato owned. Kill a combine soldier with his own grenade. Little rocket man, man sent the garden gnome into space. I love how vague that one is because it really was not easy to find the garden gnome. And I'd be like, Okay, maybe there's one like in the end room. It's like, nope, you gotta take that little bastard with you. Um, save all buildings outside the missile silo from his <laughs> No. <laughs> Never gonna happen. Um, kill a hunter with his own flechettes. Didn't know you could do that. Um, beat dog, yeah. If I knew where I was going. Find like every whip cache. Oh yeah, in the in the mine things. And then the final one is defeat the chopper in episode two without any misses. 
missed a few times there. Ones that I have achieved, kill an acid antlion worker, um, find every cache, save the missile silo, um, no Malone, <sighs> unlock the rocket launcher, lambda, cache, destroy the combined auto gun, um, the mine shaft, survive the hunter ambush. These are all like story based ones. Survive to the ambush, secure the locked doors, and defeat both the allies and guns. Okay, now I'm curious. Okay, now we're going to go to Steam really quick and look at the percentages because I love looking at the percentages. So let's do that. Oh, goodbye, Half Life, Half Life 2 episode 2. I almost said Half Life Alex, which I get to play now. Okay, achievements. It's always weird going to like my personal computer. Okay, so the rarest one I've gotten is No Malone because I'm the only person who's played this in like 2022. Um, but yeah, Beat Dog in a Race is the most common one that I did not get, 37%. And then, oh, oh, never mind. Hopper Mine is more. 69. Okay. <laughs> and then Cash Finder is the um, rarest one, which Alex pointed them out and they were not that difficult, so... Um, I don't really feel proud of that one. Every cash. See, a little Rocket Man, 8%, which is a lot, actually. Like 8% of people? That's a lot of people. And then I'm not surprised that this is further down than Rocket Man. And I'm also not surprised that this is the rarest. But even then, 6% of people. I feel like this game's short enough that like people really go to, like for the completionist route on this. So, I, I don't know. That's always fun to look at. So, I, yeah pleasantly surprised to finish Half-Life 2 episode 2 today. Then it's like, how, like, how long did I play this game? A little over five hours. Okay. And some of that's like having the screen paused and stuff, but <sighs> now hopped up on Monster. <laughs> Gonna go sit in the sunshine. Now I'll do it for us. So um, we're taking a break next week. Um, I don't know when I'm going to release these. But yep, yeah, that weekend of June 18th, I will film or start filming Half-Life Alex. So I will see you when we start that. So bye. <laughs> nice one, Freeman.